What's up guys, Headphones Dylan here, back with an Android app review, and for in this case it's going to be the Android app, or an Android app called Interval Timer. So the reason that I'm reviewing this app is because I've been subscribing to fitness apps via a variety of services, I won't name any names, but I found that um, I wanted to work out on more on my own and use less of those apps, mostly to save money, but also to have a more customizable fitness goal. And in browsing around on Google Play, I found this particular app because it provides the most customizable options and features that are more customizable features and um, ideas and setup tools than other apps. And even though it's ad supported, the ads are not um, intrusive, but you can also do things like temporarily remove um, ads or pay $4.99 to permanently remove them like you see here. So with that out of the way, You'll see that I have a couple of workouts. Uh, the first one is this 10 minute workout where they give you a 10 minute countdown to start. Uh, I set it up with a two minute workout as you see here, then two um, sets of um, upper body, then with some rest, a couple uh, re uh, uh, reps and re or rounds of core work. And that's about it. Um, that's kind of a quick and easy way to get a full workout. and. Um, save some time just to get something in, build up a quick sweat with minimal amount of rest. Um, you can also see that I've set up a 20 minute workout, similar countdown and two minute warm up, and then it del delves into a three uh, round cycle of similar um, um, workouts, and then same with the uh, for the upper body and same with the core, but I add a third. Uh, round of work to do so I haven't really counted out to make sure it's actually 20 minutes but in I want to say it's approximately around there but the idea is to have a longer more intense workout so for those times when 10 minutes is not enough or I have a little bit more time um, and the idea behind this app is that you can create your own home workout and keep yourself paced and timed and have shout outs to what the upcoming uh, or what your current rotation is with built-in rest and the same idea can be set up if you want to set up, for example, your own yoga um, or routine, so various positions and postures, if you want to have meditation with various breathing exercises, or if you're out for a hike and run, then you can set up an interval um, timer, like the name of the app suggests, to switch between hiking, walking, and running, or pacing, or something along those lines, and to have cues when you want to rest. So... You can see that I set up some presets, but let's say you want to set up your own custom presets. So what you'll do is you'll click on this add button. You can do a generic, simple um, workout. So five seconds to prepare, number of sets, work, rest, and cool down. So if you know what you want to do, if you want to set up a quick timer just for a quick run that you know you're always going to run and you want to have... Um, um, cool a warm up and cool down and a set run then you can do that if you go into advanced then you can set um, you can customize what the initial text says so you can say prepare you can say uh, get ready anything like that you can change the color so if you want a specific color for your countdown and then you can set the number the length of time you want it to be so whether it's five seconds um, if you want it to be 45 seconds, whatever you want there. Um, and you can display it as a countdown, um, static, count up, anything like that. You can have um, your beep or uh, audible um, count, things like that. So um, that's the main thing. If you don't like it, you could always delete it and um, add it back later. All the initial setups are basically the same, so nothing special there. But... Um, the idea is when they have set up this template, it kind of gives you a good guide that you can manipulate and then work from from there. And then from there, you can set up um, your uh, whatever you want the actual workout to be, whether it's workout, yoga, meditation, running, anything like that. So you can set your number of uh, reps that you want. You can change the title. So all the uh, individual blocks are work exactly the same. It's just a matter of setting it up to be how you want it to be. Um, and then I, you can, for me, for example, I always set my rest colors to be the same per workout. So in this case, it's blue, so I would keep blue throughout, or it can be green or red, so I know that that's exactly what it is, and it stands out separately from any other color. And I make sure none of the other blocks have that same color. Now, let's say you set up, um, let's say I set this up as uh, push-ups. Not period, hit push 
push-ups. And then I want this one to be sit-ups. But then I realized that I want it to be the other way around. You see these two bars on the right. If you hold and drag, you can rearrange your blocks so you can move them around and adjust accordingly. And then you can still adjust the time um, regardless of when you do it. So once you're done with that block, if you want to add another block, you get this block down here at the bottom. You've touched the, that block and now you have a new set of work to do. So for me, the one thing to remember is always to have a rest in between because each each um, set just starts one right after another. So once you've completed, for example, in this case, one set, then you go to, it automatically jumps to the next one. So after, for, so if you have it set to two, I always make sure at the bottom, so he, down here, I'm going to have a rest period for whatever amount of time you want to rest. So that way, when you're done with that set, you still get that rest, and then you move to the next one, and you can set up your various blocks for whatever you want to do. And then at the end, you get a nice little um, finisher, so you can set the color of what you want the noise to be. So if you want to bell, whistle, gong, or anything like that. So once you set that up... Um, remember to name it something um, that will help you remember so I'll call this test timer and you hit save so now I have test timer and you can preview exactly what's going on here the one downside that I found so far for this app is that if you want to copy and paste your sets or your workouts and then manipulate the copy that's there's no easy way to do that as of yet um, which it would be nice. So if you want to set up individual uh, workouts that we kind of have like a 10 minute one, 20 minute, 30 minute, but build on either 20 and 30 minute ones, then you have to set them up one by one and then keep track of how long each one is in order to get it going. So kind of one of those ups and downs for the app. But once you get it going, it's pretty easy to um, go. And then um, if you're still playing around with your workouts or whatever you want your timers to be, you could always adjust the sets and... Um, take it from there. So that's all there is for this particular review. The app is available for free, as I mentioned, in the Google Play Store, so I'll have a link to that. And if you want to remove the ads, then uh, it's $2.99 to remove ads forever, or you can watch an ad to remove it, uh, watch an ad to remove them for three days. So a pretty nifty way to help support the developer of this app. So that's all there is for this particular uh, review. And for the video watchers, um, if you are watching this on the YouTube channel, then you can check out the 10 minute workout timer with the call out so you can see what that looks like as a full workout. That's gonna be, I'm making that as a sample on the, the YouTube just because that's a workout I set up for me and it may not be good for you and what you read the various um, exercises as might be different than what I'm thinking of. So um, just a forewarning there. But that is all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedbacks, or anything like that, you can comment on the YouTube video, uh, which is at youtube.com slash PatelN01, on Twitter at PatelN01, where you can DM me, comment on the post, and all of that good stuff. The website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, if you support the show on Patreon, then you can get access to um, early content, upcoming episodes, and a show notes for headphones, you know, news, and all of that sort of stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time. Get ready. Cat cow. Knee elbow crunch. Push up to child's pose.
plank with shoulder tap. Lunge with bicep lift and overhead press. Rest. Reverse lunge with row. Rest. Lunge with bicep lift and overhead press. Rest. Reverse lunge with row. Rest. <laughs> Sit-ups.
rest. Bicycle kicks with tricep press. Rest. <laughs> Sit ups. Rest. Bicycle kicks with tricep press. Rest. 